my viewers. Today's navigation day from the car park at 500 metres. So we've uh, we've stopped behind that feature just for um, a sit down cup coffee and a bit of a snack. And you know, to say it's near the back end of February, it's stunning. They reckon that by the end of uh, by the weekend, there's going to be no snow in the Cairngorms at all, uh, which is very very unusual. So I'll just uh, I'll try and spin you around and show you what, uh, what we're looking at. There's the uh, the feature. set a bearing at the bottom of the hill uh, and I knew that I was heading west for 200 metres. It was downhill so I was actually descending over 200 metres, I was descending 50 metres and um, I set off, counted my paces and then uh, Pete got the GPS out and said yep, you're exactly where you're supposed to be so that's a bit of a confidence boost. Then we started this little excursion. Um, We've been contouring across this heather and uh, we've been doing it for quite a while, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. And my tired left ankle just doesn't seem to be wanting to support my weight. It feels like it could quite happily roll over and play dead. So um, you can see the guys 
off in the distance there because there's only one pace now and it's Steve's pace. Just gonna protect my ankle. Just don't trust it at the minute. My ankle doesn't feel that bad. But when we said it did feel bad, we decided to cancel what we were doing and get off the hill as quickly as possible to save Steve's leg. So for what seems like half my lifetime, we've been wandering through this treacherous death trap of Scotland that apparently has a path somewhere. But uh, it is very tiring. Great. I'm going to get through that spiky nightmare. Uh, God, I'm going to bite the bullet there as well. 